And she don't mind masturbating because her ass can get some sleep. Y'all know how it is when you married and shit. Got all them damn kids. Why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down? Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. All right, winos, welcome back. I hope you got your wine just a little bit. I don't want y'all getting too toe up and y'all need to be boosting y'all immune systems and stuff. You know, it's a lot of stuff going on out here and I want you to stay healthy, okay? Today, we're going to be discussing an update regarding Rob Kardashian and Black China. We're also going to be discussing the celebrities like R. Kelly trying to convince a judge to let him out of jail to avoid COVID-19. We also got an exclusive on Mr. LeBron James and some young IG model. Grab your wine. I already pulled mine. Just Pour a little bit, okay? Because you should be drinking smoothies and water all day. Now, real quick, we just got a little update on Rob in China. I am so glad things are now moving in her favor. If you haven't followed, Rob has been trying to obtain custody of Dream ever since China dropped his ass for a gay dude and a bisexual dude. And a dude we have no idea who he likes, okay? Whether it's men, women, or animals, we don't know. And so ever since he exposed her via internet, letting us know that she wanted everybody else but him we already knew that okay but he wasn't listening staying in the house will do that to your damn brain it'll convince you of all sort of things because you're not socializing and when you don't socialize and you stay in the house all day wearing the same clothes not washing your ass and letting a nanny help raise your child this is exactly what happens okay we can see things that you can't see because you're refusing to get to know people okay that's the drawback now he has accused black china of teaching dream how to be a thought he says she's twerking he says china doesn't brush the baby's teeth don't do a half when she drops her off over his house and also he's been told by China's staff okay ex staff staff that she's fired okay that China spends over $600 a day on booze and she allows the nannies to raise dream well I am happy to report because I don't believe that China is a bad mama now she may have a lifestyle that I don't agree with but I'm a firm believer in kids being with both their mom and their dad okay and so him trying to take dream away just because China don't want his ass I am glad that it's not working now China China has a leg up in court, okay? She said that she had picked up Dream twice with burn marks on her leg. Supposedly third degree burns that happened while she was in Rob's custody while Rob is too busy on the phone in the bedroom under the covers with the same hat, black drawers on, black shorts on as well as black t-shirt on the phone with his lawyers complaining about what China doing and he ain't even over China's house. He claims in his defense because China called CPS on that ass. I guarantee he got up to take a shower that day when they came to look inside that damn house because defects don't give a damn who you are. In his defense, he claims the reason Dream suffered third degree burns or second degree burns on her leg was because the nanny failed to watch her. And I'm trying to figure this out, okay? If you don't go nowhere, why do you have a nanny watching your baby, okay? He doesn't go anywhere. He don't cook. He don't wash his ass. He don't even motherfucking shave. But yet you got a nanny watching Dream while you're on the phone with lawyers Still mad at China for embarrassing your ass. Your sisters tried to tell you because they know bitches like her, okay? They are bitches like her. And instead of you accepting that and just co-parenting and allowing this child to enjoy both her mother and her father, Tiger tried that, tried to take custody, but you see that shit didn't work, so what makes you think it was gonna work for you because you were a Kardashian? Hell, all the judge got to do is look at all your photos on the internet and clearly see that you are not taking care of yourself, and he can damn well see that you can't take care of no child, especially if your child is suffering third degree burns in the care of a nanny that you says don't work for you no more. I hope this entire case gets dismissed and I hope Rob's ass has limited visitation, okay? Since he can't even watch his own child and he don't even go no damn well. He don't cook, he don't clean. And so if you don't do any of that, you got plenty of time to sit in your house because you don't leave your house and watch your kid. That's all, that's it. So in this case, congratulations, China, on having your leg up in court and hopefully y'all can work this out and be in this child's life because she gonna need both of y'all because I believe a child deserves both their parents, especially if their parents are healthy, they're well off, and unfortunately, ain't no parent perfect, okay? I just wanted to let you know what in the hell was going on. Cheers to China, okay? I usually don't agree with her, but I am not for any child being taken away from their parent, especially if their parent is not abusive. If anybody is abusing a child in this situation, it's Rob Kardashian allowing the nanny to burn that baby. Now, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now it seems that ever since this COVID-19 pandemic has taken off, 
unfortunately, we have lost a lot of people. It seems as if celebrities have forgotten that they're regular people, meaning Takashi 69, Bill Cosby, and R. Kelly. Takashi 69 filed asking the judge to allow him to leave prison and go home and be on house arrest because he wants to avoid catching COVID-19. He says he suffers from asthma, but I feel that if he does go home, which the judge said, hell no, he's gonna remain in jail. Those gang members are killing before damn COVID-19 gonna kill his ass. Don't nothing stop no damn gang member. No rain, sleet, snow, or nothing. And so I'm glad the judge has spared his life a few more months, okay? Now, Bill Cosby is asking if he can leave jail because he's older and he fears that he's gonna catch COVID-19 as well. Now, do I think that Bill Cosby is a threat to the public? Do I feel like he's gonna stay home given his age and the risk of him catching COVID-19? No, I don't think he's a threat. I think he will sit his ass right in jail, but I don't feel that just because they're celebrities that they should be given any special privileges at all, okay? Just like Harvey Weinstein refusing to turn himself in and go to jail, instead he complains of headaches, backaches, and not his ass from being in the hospital so much his came back to jail with COVID-19. Now all they did was isolate his ass. Hell, if you ask me, I'm kind of excited about his ass catching it and shit because of all the females that have suffered in his presence. Now I ain't wishing death on nobody. I'm just saying. A small ass whooping until them prisoners can get in the back of his ass will do for now. And then when I hear R. Kelly actually asking the judge if he could go home because he's afraid of catching COVID-19 and I know for a fact that when R. Kelly is home, he don't wash his ass or hands, I'm like, oh hell to the no. I don't understand why these celebrities feel like they are above an irregular human being and if they let Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, Takashi 6 9 and Harvey Weinstein out of jail, they need to let every sex offender out of jail and gang member as well and let's see how safe the public really damn is, okay? Nah, I guarantee you that shit won't work at all. Hell, we got R. Kelly out here raping kids, especially our young black daughters and shit. Not only is he gonna continue to rape them, he gonna continue to isolate their asses with his non-showering ass. I'm telling you, every person that has worked for him has said it takes R. Kelly up to two weeks just to wash his ass, so he may be a strong carrier of COVID-19 if we let his ass out. Now, before we move on to LeBron James being exposed, we got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass to. Queens of all shades, the struggle of finding your perfect foundation match is a thing of the past. Juvia's Place is a black-owned brand that shook the beauty industry by providing velvet smooth foundations for all skin tones. And they don't just stop there. They also offer bold and unique eyeshadow palettes, blurring, setting powders, and more. Products are conveniently located in over 1,000 Ulta Beauty stores or online at juviasplace.com. If you want to get your beauty on a budget, use the coupon code WINO for 10% off your online orders. You hear that, Winos? Yep, that's the squeaky clean sound that your Yoni makes after using Embrace Pangea's Feminine Wash. Not only will your Yoni be clean, but the rose and honeysuckle extracts will leave it smelling fresh. We all know that a fresh Yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence, so visit EmbracePangea.com for your confidence boost. And while you're at it, please check out some of their other natural products, including skincare, oral care, hair care, and much, much more. And of course, I got my Winos covered for a discount so use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. Reverse! Reverse! Y'all remember that damn song, don't y'all laugh at me. Why knows, but for real, listen close and listen carefully. The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar, or the sugar, as some of our grandmamas may call it. It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies like parasites, bacteria, fungi, tumors, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast, prostate, colon, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it. And their friend lupus can get it too, okay? So I need my winos to be in good health because we have some good dragging to do. So visit myoliveleaf.biz to help get your health in order. Now, for those of y'all that are wondering what I'm drinking, this is a table wine by Hillside Winery, okay? Don Russell to be exact. And then table wines, table wines are typically kind of sweet. I kind of look at table wines more as dessert wines. Now, don't get me, I'm not a sommelier or anything like that, but they tend to be sweeter. It is a blend of different varietals which means uh, wine grapes, like your Merlots, your Petite Shiraz, and Cabernets, okay? And in this wine, like I said, it's more on the sweeter side. That's why I have it in a champagne flute. Now, you can put this in any type of wine glass, but this just controls how much 
of this particular wine that I drink because it is on the sweeter side, okay? I ain't trying to catch no diabetes or have no sugar problems or anything like that, okay? So I do control my alcohol intake, especially if it's high in sugar. You're not gonna find this in a store or anything like this. You can get this via internet. This typically ranges from about $7.99 to about $11.99. And like I said, it's a great wine, something that I typically enjoy after dinner. Y'all know LeBron James is the pillar of black love, okay? Taco Tuesday! That's the only day that he probably spends time with his family, but I know during this quarantine, he's spending a lot more time and he's not able to chill with his NBA side bitches. And I know y'all are saying, Tasha, why are you saying LeBron James has NBA side bitches? Well, one reason they all do, okay? Because before we were on lockdown, okay, especially in LA, I think they went on lockdown first. LeBron James was allegedly screwing an IG model, okay? Now, I'm gonna reveal her name in just a second. Let me tell you what happened, okay? Pittsburgh Steelers player Nick Varnett has a girlfriend, okay? His girlfriend's name, hold on, because she ain't popular, is Urza Halidi. Now, Urza Halidi was best friends with Sophia Jamora. Now, Nick Varnett is about to wife up. I believe him and Urza are engaged, okay? And now that she's about to become like a wag, you know, a football wife, I guess sis is trying to change her karma. Either she's trying to change her karma or either she's trying to stop her friend Sophia Jamora's bag. Yes, Urza posted this photo here for her 15,000 followers and tagged a few friends in this picture. Shout out to Chelsea Elena, okay, for grabbing this damn exclusive. And as you can see in this picture, she's saying that she can't stand men, especially married men, that sleep around on their wives, okay? And she tagged Sophia Jamora. Now, her and Sophia were close, okay? Now, if you show me your friends, I'm gonna show you exactly who you are, okay? Now, I'm inclined to believe either she is feeling kind of guilty knowing that she's about to become like a wag and NFL wife, or she's either jealous of the type of lifestyle that Sophia has, and she's trying to stop that bag because she's getting more money off of LeBron James, even if she becomes his wife. She'll never have that type of money that Sophia Jamor or whatever her damn name is getting and she's only part time with LeBron James. Do I feel bad for LeBron James' wife? No, she knows exactly what it is. You've been with a man since high school. He only married you a few years ago because he has some sticking and moving to doing. He still has a few side chicks that are willing to play their position because if you look at this girl's profile, Sophia Jamor, okay, you're gonna notice when you scroll her profile that she does have courtside seats. Now, not just anybody can get courtside seats when a game is that packed, especially at Lakers game, which makes me believe that this seat was paid for or given to her by the star player, LeBron James, and her friend, who's due to become a wife any day, exposed it. Now, when Urza posted this to her 15,000 followers, I don't think her 15,000 followers really caught that because truly, if you got 15,000 followers, really only 900 of them, probably that, that's on a good day, are watching the story. And I don't think people really picked up what she was saying, okay? Her best friend, Sophia Jamore, has been sleeping with LeBron James for quite some time. And she She's real hush hush about it, okay? And when you see these IG models that are real pretty like this, and you scroll their damn feed, and you see them courtside sitting in seats that none of us average people can damn afford unless they're given to us, and you continue to scroll her feed, and you don't see not now man in sight. She ain't posting no man. Beautiful girl, okay? She's traveling everywhere. It's because LeBron James is her damn man, okay? This is how these situations work. Now, do I feel sorry for the wife? I said no. I don't feel sorry for her because she knew exactly what she married, okay? The girl is from A. Ohio, so is LeBron James. This is the best she's gonna do. And she is not picking up her children and moving them back to Akron, Ohio, just because LeBron is getting a little side pussy on the side, okay? It just don't work like that. These damn NBA players, football players, traveling all around the damn country and shit. They got holes in every damn area code. She got four, three to four children back at the house. And let me tell you, when you got three to four kids that you're raising with no house help, you'll probably be glad that somebody else is screwing them just so you ain't got to do it, okay? Best believe they got a damn understanding. And LeBron is gonna have a lot of making up to do when we come out of this damn quarantine. He gonna screw the shit out of damn Sophia and guess who ain't gonna care? His wife because she ain't got the damn do it. She can go back to spending his money and masturbate at night, okay? And she don't mind masturbating because her ass can get some sleep. Y'all know how it is when you married and shit. Got all them damn kids and men don't wanna do nothing but screw every night, which I love it, but I'm just telling you, most married women in that position sleep is more important than a goddamn man, okay? So do I care? If she don't care, I don't damn care. Now I gotta go. Thank you all so much for watching, all right? <laughs>
Mm. I want to thank Jasmine, Chelsea, and Nicole for their awesome research. If you have tips on your favorite celebrities, please feel free to send me an email via Unwind with Tasha K at gmail.com. That is Unwind with Tasha K at gmail.com. Or you can hit Nicole, Jasmine, or Chelsea in the DM on Instagram. I don't ch typically see all my DMs. They do. Their links to their Instagrams are below. So please follow them too and chat with them, okay? And you can let them know what stories you want me to cover. Or if you have some exclusive information, they will keep you private, okay? If you want to advertise on my platform, please feel free to send me an email via marketing at unwindwithtashak.com. That is marketing at unwindwithtashak.com. We will get back to you promptly and discuss your advertising needs. And hell, if you didn't like this video, you can still subscribe anyway just so you can cuss my ass out. Not that I'm really give a damn anyway. Now I got to go. Uh-huh. Bye. Mm.